Today we're looking at the Kugu Kirin G3 scooter. Woo! This is Kirin and Kugu's brand new scooter. It's called the G3. It's just hit the market and look at it. It looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? The design, the orange accents, it looks quite beefy. This has a top speed of 31 miles per hour, powered by a 1200 watt brushless motor that sits in the rear wheel. It has rear and front disc brakes and a top range of around 37 miles. It's certainly got some power. This thing absolutely flies. And talking of mileage on this thing, this has a 52 volt lithium ion battery pack, which is 18 amp hours in capacity. It also has the front and the rear lighting on this thing. Now the rider capacity is 100 kilos for this, and the actual scooter itself weighs 25 kilos. Looking at the deck itself, we've got this nice anti-slip rubber material, the G3 logo, and then the Kirin Kugu logo. So far, really impressed. It looks like it's built well and it's got the spec to match. This model costs £999 and it was delivered within two business days, which I was quite impressed with. Now the scooter can fold. It's a bit of a struggle on camera. So let me just show you that now. The scooter comes with a little handle here. We release this, we can then lift up the handlebars. This is quite tight. And that's what she said. And then you screw this locking mechanism into place to secure the handlebars. Like so. Done. And of course, you'll get your charger, your toolkit, and instruction manual. That G3 is a seriously good bit of kit. I'm very impressed. We get to this point in every video, guys, where we do the hill climb test. And this scooter's got enough power, enough torque, it's gonna get up that hill just fine. Let's go. Hill climb test is passed. All right, looking at the controls of the scooter, let's peel this off. The on-off button is here. On the screen straight away, let me just show you what you can do. This is the speed mode you're in. This is the light mode you're in. Speed you're traveling at, controller temperature, amps drawn, battery voltage, miles traveled, battery capacity. These three buttons here are touch buttons. If you press this, it will turn the lights on and off in different modes. The mode button switches between mode one, two, and three, three being the fastest. And the set button is the kilometers or miles per hour setting. Front brake, rear brake, bell. And of course, this is the throttle right here.
full power. Oh yeah, easy peasy. So, my first eight mile ride on the scooter. Very, very well rounded and very impressive to ride. Good top speed, good torque, good power, and the deck is nice and wide for both your feet to stand either side by side or one in front of the other. The brakes are fantastic and the control unit is nice and bright in the daylight too. It's time for the off-road test. I've said it in other videos as well, guys. This is literally the most abuse you can put through any scooter. Uh, and it's the most battery intensive draining as well. Uh, just because the scooter has to work so hard to keep you moving. overtake some cycling. What an absolutely fantastic ride this scooter is. If you guys find yourself interested in one of these, I'll put a link in the description box. You can have a look on the website and you can pick one up for yourself and have a ride. I love how this scooter looks and the build quality of it is really nice. And I think that's been proven today in this video. The only thing I wish that Kieran and Kugu would do is stick this motor in the front as well so it's dual drive. It would be phenomenal. So I covered a grand total of 18 miles today and the battery pack in this has still got about 30% left. All right then guys, that's me done for one day. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.